No, this is Ebenezer Flight, correct? Yeah. And you're currently under an evacuation order? No, it doesn't need to, it cuts off down at the barriers there. Because we're dry, we haven't been evacuated. Like these houses up, mm -hmm. have they been evacuated yet? Just the people below us. How would you characterize what you're seeing out there right now? Uh, to actually the community spirit is pretty good, and the, the kids for the high school has got to be like really commended because they did lots of work yesterday. You know, they did more with a shovel than you do with an excavator and wholeheartedly put everything into it for nothing, just for community. When you see the water coming over here and then you've got the, the dike right there, if this dike goes, do you oh, think uh, that this area will go? This, if this dike goes, then I'm, I'm uh, starting to look at I'll be in serious trouble. I don't know if it'll come here and then go down there or just keep coming. So I don't know, but there was supposed to be funds two or three years ago or more when we had the last panic attack here. Change your politicians and change your priorities and nothing got done and this is the end result, everybody's scrambling. Now the Ebenezer Flat area is under the regional district, correct? I'm not sure, to be honest with you. It's you talked about the change of politicians, uh, who are you talking about? Like the Campbell's mob, whoever they are. It's like they're all tired with the same stick as I'm concerned. They all tell you stuff and never do nothing. You see the water coming in here like this. Have you ever, in your 15 years being down here, ever seen the water like this? You talk no, about it's the high, no. no. I'm sorry? Say that no, again. it's high, no, that's uh, the worst we've ever seen it. Is it kind of shocking to you? It's kind of intimidating. It's not so much shocking. Mother Nature, what can you do with Mother Nature? You know, you play the cards, you, what you get. But, uh, you know, it's pretty daunting when you see that. I feel sorry for the people that's in worse shape than us. You know, lots of people are in really, really bad shape. So. The weather, uh, weather network is calling for another 30 millimeters of rain the next 24 hours. Are you ready to ready to pack up your bags and go? Yeah, well, I'll have to pipe my animals up first and go to me, the ladies up the hill. I have to get all that done. I've not only got my own animals, I've got other people's animals. It's flooded out already, so. Are they in any kind of difficulty right now? No, no. Something sound just now. So, but like I say, that can change if that breaks, and that's a whole different ball game. What do you think is going to happen? Uh, I'm not an optimist. I'm a pessimist. So I look for the worst, and if it gets better, then I think it's got to come out of the, the, the dam. It's just got to be too saturated to hold it. And that's got to be a whole different ball game then when that happens. Should the government be uh, building a, uh, a berm there? They should be, yeah. And there's lots of erosion there as well. That don't help. Every year, the river takes away a chunky beach. Three properties. So they were going to do this and they were going to do that, and then all of a sudden, you know, nothing happens for a few years and people forget quickly. So these guys have been here longer than us, and Henry, he says uh, the water's coming right coursing through his barn. He said he never ever seen that before.